I feel quite strongly that this young man should be acquitted. You know, the evidence that uh, the prosecution brought in this case was, uh, in, in my opinion, um, sorely lacking. You know, they had witnesses who were, were in, incredible, told different stories, recanted, recanted the recantation. Uh, they were just all over the place. It, it didn't um, nowhere near come to the level of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. I'm a proud Canadian, and, and what happened here is, I think, very un-Canadian. Like, th that kind of stuff just doesn't happen in our country. And so it's, it is appalling that that could happen to some poor tourist this here minding his own business with his family and, and, and gets shot. It's the type of charges, I told the judge, that's so serious. And what happened here is, is as I said in court, appalling. Um, but there's that desire to want to lay every charge in the book. There's a the desire to, to try to hold somebody responsible. And, and I get that. I mean, as a, as a citizen, I understand that. I, except that, um, you know, my job in the process is to make sure that the wrong guy isn't convicted for this. And, and so, it's, um, so it's not surprising we go from a whole bunch of charges down to a very few and that the evidence that seemed so good at the beginning seems not so good now. He's quite um, nervous about the whole, uh, the whole thing, it really wears on him and it's um, affecting him in that way. And, and other times I see him, um, um, you know, he's much calmer and, and uh, sort of taking things day by day as, you know, I, I guess it's all you can do. So, you know, it's different for him. It's up and down on different days.